All right, so I'm sitting in training mode waiting for a match to work. Probably not going to. So I'm messing around in training mode with, with Fong. Not Fang, Fong. Very important to know that that's his name. Uh, he's a really weird character. As you can see, his long arms give him some reach. He's got long legs, too. Some really long limbs, which is pretty interesting. Um, but really, his damage over time here with, with his poison seems to be one of the interesting features that he has. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of in the lab with him just to show you a special move. So first of all, down, up, plus punch with the charge is this move, which is the projectile that will poison and do slow damage over time to your opponent, as you can see. Meter burning it allows it to come out fast and become a bouncy projectile that's pretty hard to dodge. And yes, you can combo off of something like low, low medium punch. If you're close enough, I think low fierce punch allows you to hit both things with the air juggle there. Okay. Um, if you do back forward and punch, this kind of stabbing move, it is multiple hits, and it does poison. It doesn't poison as strongly as the projectiles from what I've seen, but you can combo it pretty easily off of, you know, various hits, like low medium punch, stuff like that. Um, you've got back forward plus kick. Which is this ground attack, and I'm trying to figure out what the viability of this attack really will be. Simply because it doesn't really stay out there for too long. You see what I mean? Even the meter burn version? Come on. Now it doesn't want to do it. it. Stays out there for a little longer. Maybe it's good for like trap setups if you want to try to get them to jump into it and get poisoned. I think the goal here with Fong is to constantly have your opponent be poisoned during the round and have their life be going down. So, interesting, right? It can combo, too. But after that, you can't really do anything. So I'm not sure exactly what the point of that ground bounce is. Here's one other move. It's an uppercut motion plus kick. And it's a slide. If you're close up, it goes, like, almost into the opponent. If you do medium or heavy kick versions, it'll pass through the opponent. And the meter burn version goes almost full screen and goes under. Now, I'm guessing what this is for is, like, mix-ups. So you could do something like this. That is not what I wanted. See, I that one went a little bit too far. So you could do the different versions, and the, character, the person you're fighting won't know if you're going to be in front of them or behind them after the slide. So it could be a little bit interesting. If you're trying to confuse your opponent. You can do a throw after it. Problem there, though, is that I think you're not going to have enough time to charge and do another special move. So, let me try this. I'm going to try to combo projectile after it. Oh, it did work. You saw that? So, what I was able to do was the cross-up, which is actually heavy kick. I'll show everyone that in a second. Low medium punch into that slide, and then immediately to another low medium punch into the projectile, and it comboed and poisoned. So maybe you could kind of, you know, mix up a little bit with that. I don't know. Now, normal attacks. Not sure if any of those are really going to have too much viability. I'm going to try a close standing fierce. It only hits once. Has decent range. Standing kicks. Light. Medium. Medium kick looks like it could be a pretty good anti-air from a certain range. Heavy kick is a two hit. So... Close enough after a cross up. There you go, four hits. The thing is, you can't two and one off of it. You can't even get the combo right now. It's, you can't two and one off of it either, so I don't know if you're ever really going to be using it. Um, low attacks. It's a double hit roundhouse. It's kind of interesting. I'm thinking low fierce punch could be a good anti air because it hits twice and it creates that juggle state. See that? After which you could do a projectile. I don't know if you could do a regular. Let's see. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. If you, can if you cancel the first hit, it becomes a juggle with the with the uh, the venom projectile, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, his best crossover. In fact, his only crossover move is jumping fierce kick 
which hits twice. Now, after that, you can do a lot of different things, I see. You can do, like, standing or a little medium punch immediately into a move. You can do standing jab into standing medium kick. See that? And you can actually two-in-one the medium kick. Oops, I messed that up. Hold on. All right, almost. Almost got the timing. There you go. See that? That's kind of interesting. Um, throws. I'll show you the throws. Then we'll go into, like, his V skill. So forward throw, backward throw. And then he's got his V skill. This is kind of interesting. It's a slow-ass projectile. And if it hits, it does poison. And the good thing is, look at this. Now you can really mess around with people and just kind of control the screen with a hundred venom projectiles, right? Do this. So, unless you have a character that's really good at mobility, they might have a hard time getting around all of these projectiles that you're throwing all over the screen, right? And then really the final thing is his V-Trigger, which just basically makes everything he does poisonous. So every hit is going to add poison. Pretty interesting. Doesn't last too long, but it's kind of nice that everything... I think the goal, again, is to try to keep your opponent poisoned at all times, right? Now, I actually found a super, which is just two fireball motions and punch. I'll show it to you. Oops. There you go. It launches and does a combo. And yes, just like everything else, it also poisons. But you can pretty easily combo and super cancel his super moves. So let me show that to you. Look at that. Pretty crazy. Now, the thing is, I get the feeling that most Fong players are going to want to be using his, his uh, super meter for things like the EX projectile and that kind of stuff. So I don't think that he's going to get too much use out of the super. But if you do have a super, hey, you can lead into a pretty huge combo, right? So pretty interesting. I, mean, I don't know how he's going to be viable in, in, in an actual match against a human. I'd be interested to see... Uh, you know, messing around with humans, how good this is as an anti-air, number one, or this, because I don't know. He doesn't have a true, like, reversal anti-air move, and that could be a problem. He also doesn't have a true reversal at all as a wake-up. The only thing I think he could do is try to do, like, a wake-up teleport, and that'll get him out of the way from a knockdown, but it certainly isn't going to get him any kind of an advantage, right? So, I don't know. He's an interesting character. I actually... I uh, want to see what his story is, so I'm probably going to do his story mode and stuff like that. <clears throat> but, uh, that's basic in the lab with Fong. By the way, just to show you his jumping attacks, all of his jumping punches go up. So for anti-airs, if you're in the air, you want to do an anti-air if someone's in the air with you. Any of his punches are going to do pretty good. But all of his kicks go down, and his jumping medium kick actually hits twice. You can do combos after it, but it does not cross up. See? you got to use jumping fierce kick if you want to do a cross up. Yeah, definitely, that's the one cross-up you're going to want to do, so. Alright, that's a very basic in the lab with Fong for me just messing around a few minutes with him. He seems pretty interesting. 